Hello, welcome to Benjamin Tree. Today we're going to be learning about the REPT or repeat function today. As you can see in this yellow box we have the function. It's quite simple. REPT and the two inputs are going to be the text and the number of times that we want to repeat that text. So let's take a look at how it's used. So we're going to start off our function with the equals sign and then we're going to hit REPT. Then we're going to start with our open parentheses and we're going to enter our text we want to repeat. So in quotations I'm going to write ha 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 three times and then I'm going to put a comma and then we're going to say let's repeat this 100 times. The number of times you want it to repeat. So I'm going to close this, hit enter and you can see we have a lot of ha ha ha's. So right now by itself not the most useful function but you know if you're on a messenger and you wanted to say ha 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 a hundred times to your friends this would be a quick way to do it but in the office we want to be using this function for more productive purposes so let's take a look at here we want to take a look at how to pad a number so sometimes when you're printing out numbers you don't want the blank space behind it so people can edit it maliciously. So in this what we're going to learn is how to pad a number so it's filled up with asterisks instead. So let's look at how we would do this. So we're going to start off with an equal sign to show our function. Start with the open parentheses and then we're going to start with our text. We're going to pick this number $476.63 then we're going to hit the ampersand. So this ampersand means take A2 and add some other information together and we're going to combine it to show up in this one cell. So after this ampersand we want to add a number of asterisks to fill out the rest of this cell. So we need to use our repeat function. So we're going to type in REPT and we're going to have another open parentheses and this time we're going to use star here and that's the text that we want to repeat. Now how many times do we want to repeat it? Okay, so what happens is we want to have a total of 24 characters in this cell. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the number of times repeated equal to 24 minus the length of a2. Okay, now we need to close down everything. So when we pre present, when we hit enter, we're going to have 476.63 followed by the correct number of stars to equal 24. All right, so you can see that 476.63 followed by all these stars. Now we're going to take this here and we're going to drag it and copy this formula to all the other cells in this column okay and then we can keep the pretty orange okay as you can see that each cell has well each of these numbers have a different length so we have to use a different number of stars in order to come out equal here but you might notice one thing different here okay so this has a dollar sign but this has no dollar sign so this is a text, so we need to figure out how can we add the dollar sign to the text. So let's take a look and figure out how to do that using the text formula here. So first of all, we're going to just make D2 equal to that. What we're going to do in E2 is we're going to take this number here and turn it into a text value, but it's going to keep the form of currency. So let's take a look how we do that. We equal text, all right, the value that we want to turn into a text, which is going to be D2, and the format of the text, how we're going to do that. So in order to take text and put it into a currency form, we have to enter this special format, which is going to be in quotations, dollar sign, pound sign, comma, pound sign, pound sign, zero, dot, zero, zero, and end it with quotations. Okay. Now there's other formats of text that we can use and we'll cover that in another lesson but you can just know that in this situation that's how we turn a text into a currency. Okay, we're going to close this out 
Okay, so as you can see, we have this text here of $476.63. And we know it's a text because it's off to the left of the cell. Values and numbers are off to the right of the cell. So we're going to use this. We're going to use this idea to change this number, 476.63, into $476.63. So let's start again. So the first thing we want to do is we want to change A2 text into a text in the form of a currency. So we're going to start off, start off with our parentheses, we take the text, we want the value of A2, and then after that we want it to be in the currency form, so quotation dollar, pound sign, comma, pound sign, pound sign, zero dot zero zero in quotation. Okay, now we need to add information to this. We need to add the repeated stars, repeated asterisks. So we're going to hit the ampersand and repeat. And what we're going to do is we're going to repeat these asterisks. Okay, we're going to do it 24 minus the length of A2. Okay, let's close this down. Some of you might say, wait, there's a mistake. There is, but let's take a quick look at this mistake. Now, when we look here, we do have the dollar sign, but we have one extra sign, one extra star here. Okay, so what happens is when it's subtracting from A2, it's just subtracting the numbers and the, and the decimal here. It's not subtracting the dollar sign because this A2 is still just in a pure numerical value. So we need to change the length here to the text of A2 in the currency form to add the dollar sign and then that way we will have the same number of stars as before. So let's go in here. We're going to take the length of the text of A2 in the form of currency. So that's dollar, pound, comma, pound, pound, zero, dot, zero, zero. Okay, and we're going to close this out. We have enough there. That's too many. There we go. Enter. There we go. Now we have the correct number of asterisks. So let's drag this down and let's keep our pretty orange. And now all of our padded numbers have the dollar signs and they have all have the correct number of stars. So today you've learned how to use the repeat function and how to use it in something a little bit more practical such as padding a number. So what you can do for practice is you can go over here to padding a name and then using these names of these famous scientists so that you see if you can fill out the rest using a squiggly line here, I'm not sure what that is, and use the length of a of the 30 to make sure that it comes out. They all come out to have 30 characters total. I hope you learned a lot and have a great day. Thanks for visiting Benjamin Tree.